Hello, my name is Nazir Khan from the Faculty of Civil Engineering Technology. Welcome to all of you in Canada and for those international viewers, welcome to you also. It's nice to have you with us. When we look at what we have on the screen, we have uh, an expression, a mathematical expression, and we're going to take the derivative of this expression. I'm going to look over the expression and what I have is one term, two terms, right? And it is in the form that I could just go and take the derivative directly of each one of these terms. So let's go and do that. To take the derivative, we have to carry our notation. This becomes dy dx. I'm going to take the power and multiply it, mu multiply the term by it, and reduce the power by one. And again, that's the same thing with this. Take the power, multiply the term, and reduce the power by one. Let's go and do that. And here it is. I've changed the notation to dy dx and of course three times the term and reduce the power by one. So this becomes 3x squared, right? And for the second uh, part of this, I'm going to multiply by two, which is right there, and reduce the power by one. So this becomes really and that's what we have. I left the one in here just to demonstrate that this one is you don't have to. It's an understood one power for every every number, every power. And when we look at this, we have the derivative of uh, this expression right now. So we, we have done the calculus part of this, but we have to place it in the proper form, meaning prime form. Prime form means that you cannot reduce it anymore. So we've got to go and factor this thing because I can see that we have an x and an x, and I could factor out that x. The coefficient is... Uh, we don't have any commonality with the co coefficient, so we could go and factor out the x and come to our final answer right there. So when I pull out an x from that, if I take that x and divide it back into here, I will have 3x, which is right there, and this x into there, I'll just have 5 right there. If I multiply this back out, x times 3x will give you 3x squared, and x times minus 5 will give you minus 5x. You know that you have the prime form now. Okay, fairly easy process. Derivative is not very difficult for us to do, but let's go and try another one with a, with a few more terms, I guess. When we look at this mathematical expression that we have here, and this seems to be fairly normal, except for this guy here, because we have the variable in the denominator. It's not friendly for taking the derivative of it, so we are going to go and take this x squared up to the numerator and change the sign of the power, right? So if, what really we're doing, we're taking the reciprocal of this thing. And let's go and do that, okay? I've placed some brackets in here because we're going to take the derivative of the x itself, not of the coefficient, but we're going to multiply the 4 times 13, which will give you 52 x cubed, right, for the first term. But what we really need to concentrate on is this guy right here. I've taken this up to the numerator and changed the power. Okay. Now I am going to go and take the derivative of this thing here. And again, you multiply by the power, you reduce the power by 1. You multiply the term by the power, so that 4 times 13, which will give you 52. Let's go and look at that. When we look at that, I have to carry my notation. This becomes dy dx, meaning that you're taking the derivative or this is the derivative of this expression here, right? So multiply by the 4 right there, reduce it the power by 1. Multiply by the 3 right there, reduce the power by 1. Multiply by 1, right? There's an understood 1 right there and reduce the power by 1. This becomes 0. Anything raised to the 0 power as stated here is going to equal to 1. So this whole term here becomes 1. And then we go to the last one. You're, you're taking minus 2, multiplying a minus will give you a plus 2x to the minus 3. Right? So that's what we have here. And let's go and look at the next step of this. We're going to have uh, 4 times 13 is 52x cubed because it reduced by 1. And then 3 times 6 is 18, minus 18x squared, reduced by 1. And this guy becomes 1. And of course, when we look at uh, this here, 
we're going to take the the uh, x cube to the denominator right the x cube right here to the denominator because we want to write it with the positive exponent right so we're writing it in the denominator and then I'm going to go and take a last look at this to see if there is any reduction that could happen to put it in prime form when I look at this uh, I have even number even number odd number right so that's not gonna work for the coefficients anyhow and when we look at uh, these guys here we don't have an X here so we can't take out a common factor there either so this is your final answer okay I hope that uh, explain how to take derivative of terms and uh, have a nice day See you for the next video. Bye-bye.